Hi, Glenn Martinez here at Ola Monte Gardens. I want to show you our radio filter. This is a fish tank, and here we're pumping the water up here. And we're using an airlift. We're pumping the water up like that. This collects it. The air comes out here. The water heads over here, and you see the water coming into here. When it comes into here, it falls, and it's going to go straight down. And this goes within four inches of the bottom. There are little legs on this. So the water is going to come in here, go make a U-turn, and it's going to decant. You see the pipe over here to the side here? If you, I'll hold this to the side. That's the decanter pipe inside there. And so the water leaves it from here. Notice how clear it is here? So the dirty water comes in here, and when it falls, it's heading down. Well, we put this on it, and all this does is make the water go left and go right, and so that it takes off the speed of the water. So then the water goes left and right, and this is a one-foot circle. It goes down, makes a U-turn, comes up into a two-foot circle, and so it really scrubs off the speed of the water, thus it drops its solids. Now, the decanter pipe, it, the, it decants right here at this level here, and that's by this one sets that level. So all I do is have the decanter, the opening is here, this is the surface of your water here, and what you see here is the crystal clear water coming out. And I'll just turn this a little bit of an angle here to show you, but just how clear that water is, okay? So the solids are kept in here, okay? We periodically can clean it up by opening the shutoff valve at the bottom. You see the clear pipe there? In less than five seconds, I can take all the solids off of this drum into there, and I've never taken more than two and a half gallons out to have this be clean, okay? Now, this is sitting level. You could tilt this at a, a 15 or 20 degree angle and have all the solids go right to the opening. We have not bothered to do it. We just left it sitting here level. Now, when we come over here, the big change here is this was is a pre-manufactured one, and it has little grooves in it, but they're only half inch deep. And when we put the screen across it, it just got clogged way too fast. So now we're putting the water in here. We cleaned out the solids. We put in these five gallon buckets, and I took a bucket and I cut it in half. This is the bottom of the bucket. I cut the bottom off, a quarter inch, threw it away. And then this is the top half. So they're bottomless buckets. If I were to lift this out, the rocks would just spill out. But they're sitting on plastic screen, which has quarter inch opening. So the rock can't go through. So now we replanted the watercress in here. And now this water will fill up. And you see we're coming into high tide here. Here, and notice how clear it is, okay? Now, to prevent algae coming, we've now introduced the azola into here. And the azola now, here in a day or two, it will fill every area here, and that will stop algae from growing there. And it never clogs me because it stays on the surface. So you see how it loves it here. See how it is here? And so we will take this now, and we'll introduce this all the way around, and that's so that I won't have any water showing, okay? We only put in two handfuls about four days ago, and look how it's multiplying. And now I'll be able to put it over there. And we call it five sisters because every day it breeds five cysts on it. So you put it in here, it will double its population, and that will give me a carpet of it. Now when this water fills up to here, it's going to go out the bottom. When it goes out the bottom, this sets the flush point. If you take a look in there right now, Natalie, you will see the it flushing. And this is a, our standard tea siphon into this five gallon bucket. Now this is a seven and a half gallon swimming bucket or 10 gallon one actually, which is neat. If you can find these, the swimming pool guys have these seven and a half and 10 gallon bucket. So the water comes into here, then it goes out the bottom of this and returns to the fish tank. So there's only four inches of separation. The airlift over there goes four inches higher than the drum that it feeds. The drum is four inches higher than the float bed. And this goes up and down. Now notice that the rocks in here, the water comes up and then when it flushes, it's going to go down four inches. And so that when the water goes down in the rock, that will pull air into the rock. So when I come over here and I go dig down and I smell the rock, fresh as can be, no anaerobic smell at all. When we dug it out after running it for about a year, it was all clogged up. And we said, no, we're going to go to this kind of system. This was Liz's idea, is to cut the buckets. And then Natalie, I found out we could get two out of one. So it only took eight buckets for us to make 16 containers on it. A clever thing would be to take these containers 
and put the plastic on them individually so I could pick the bucket up and out without the rock spilling loose. But it's not a big deal uh, for it. We come over to the shop back and pick it up. But anyway, this is kind of a neat system, and we'll see how I do, and we'll keep you guys posted.